So it's currently 10 to 9 in the morning. The Lord of the Broads is fishing. Sun is out, it's glorious. The river looks lovely, as always. I've just set table because Matt is making a full English breakfast. Sneak preview. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke alarm's gone off once. Smoke alarm's gone off once. We'll rip battery out of that. <laughs> He's taking his time, though, with this breakfast. We're going to have to start and uh, put a bit of a protest together in a minute. But I'll keep you updated on it. We want some breakfast. And we want it now. Where is our breakfast? <laughs> Come on, Matty. <laughs> breakfast. Whoa. Whoa. Now you're talking. Thank you. What we got? Full, full English. English. Sausage, bacon, egg, mushroom, fried bread. Yeah. Got a whole lot that. here. Look at that. Toast. Toast. Oh, right, we're on day two. A little update. We've just had our breakfast. Uh, full English. Lovely. Really nice. Feel a little bit sleepy now, though. From honestly, it might have been too much. I should have had some jam on toast or something. But it is what it is. I'm sure I'll make the same mistake tomorrow morning as well. So last night fishing went well. So I won it with £20 just over. Bri came second with £15. Dave came third with £12. So it was only what well, one or two half decent bream minutes and not a lot at all. Um, we obviously didn't start fishing until late on and we were getting all the stuff so it weren't the, weren't the full hours we normally put into it. Um, today we've got a roach match. So we know we used to do an overall weight for the whole week then we changed it up to each day or each session we split it up to have different matches so today is a roach match from half past nine ten o'clock until half past twelve and then from one until half past four when we go for some tea then in the evening we're just gonna have the biggest fish so you just you pick your biggest fish through the night keep weighing it until whoever's got the biggest fish really you don't have to you don't have to weigh every single one if you think it's your biggest one weigh it up uh, get it approved and then that's the biggest one. Each match is worth three points. You've got three, two, one. Whoever's got the most points at the end of the week is the winner. Yep. And then at half past 12, we do something called an alternative bait match, which you've got to pick something what's not a recognised bait, and we've got to declare it. So, for example, I'm going to use a piece of strawberry saurine today on the hook. If you catch a fish on the alternative bait, you get an extra point. So we all do that every day, half past 12 till 1. So we'll make a little video of that happening. What I'll do, I'll put on the screen a picture of the uh, schedule for the matches and stuff so you can see it on there in case you want to follow us on that. Right, I'm going to get ready now for the roach match. It's nearly casting in time. I'm sure the, all the others will have an update for you through the day. Tight lines. Brizey sneaking one in on him. Keeps very quiet, uh, Brizey does. But unfortunately, <laughs> we're doing a roach match and it was a bream. <laughs> got yachted there, they're a pain in bum. How are you doing, Matt? Doing all right, you? Oh, whipping them out. Yeah, trotting the float I am. It's got a simple float rig set up. A little bit of worm on whipping them out. Bry's he's making it. Are you making a brew, Bry? <laughs> Stay! Don't show Sandra. <laughs> Don't show Sandra, she'll have you doing it at home. You go steady. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry, back to you. Just a simple float rig. A little worm on. Single worm. Can I have a cup of tea, please, Bry? And, uh, Size 18 hook. Just trot it down in the current. I'll uh, cast it out in a minute to show you. And just wait for it to go under. Just swap hands. Very simple. Just trot it down. Let it go down in the current.
bikes, bring them back up to the beginning, and just trust it down again. Obviously, we're all we're doing is keeping the roach. I've had a few perch, which I've had to put back. I'll just keep trusting it down. Doing this way as well in the daytime is a very good way of fishing because of the boats. If you're right out in the middle of the feed, you can sometimes get snagged on the boats. Oh, and there you have it, fish on. Lovely little roach. Well, we're about an hour into this uh, into this roach match. Uh, I'm not doing bad. I'm having a few. I'm out on the feeder. That and Dave. I don't know if you can see them bit past me. I can't tell for the sun on the screen, and I've got the phone propped up very, very dicely, if that's a word, dicely. But yeah, I'm catching a few. Keep going. I'm on feeder. I'm on double maggot. Uh, trying to stick to one white, one red. Dave and Matt are both trotting afloat. They're catching the fish, but the fish they're catching are a smaller stamp than mine. Mine are by no ways massive, but they are bigger than the ones they got. So they're getting with that. So anyway, difficult for me to talk and catch all these fish. So I'll say tight lines and catch you later. Alright guys, so I've just come in out of the glorious sunshine, um, I believe previously in the video that Matty mentioned about we do an alternative bait challenge at half past 12, um, I just thought I'd give you guys a bit of an insight into the rules of that. So basically the rules to um, alternative bait challenge is that you can use anything that isn't an actual real bait for fishing, i.e. maggots bread worms all your commercial baits basically you can't use anything like that so we have a half an hour challenge first one catch fish gets more points we carry on fishing throughout the half an hour so if me i catch one extra point my bry so on and so forth um once you've caught on that bait it cannot be used again so we did it last year, um, I believe Matthew caught a fish on egg, which was caged, uh, pushed into a cage. Um, I believe Bryzy caught one on soap. Um, so obviously their baits cannot be used again. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go outside and ask Brian, ask Matthew what alternative baits they're using. Um, and I'll let you guys know. Cheers. So as I say, I'll just nip out and see what uh, alternative bait the lads are using. All right, Brazzy. So what alternative yeah. bait are you using? Alternative, but I'm going. After various selections and choices, I'm going down oh. the chilly route. Jalapeno peppers. Oh, it's not a bad. Hot route. Yeah, not a bad shout. Well, it's alternative. It's definitely an alternative if I don't bait. Catch anything? <laughs> I can eat a few myself. Oof. I'll go and see what Matty's plan is. Just while we're passing my box, I'll let you guys know. I'm using Biscoff. A Biscoff mix. Hopefully, that will do the trick. All right, Matt. How are you, mate? What uh, What are you using on your alternative bait? Uh, strawberry saurine. We've had it. Oh. Uh, my wife brought it back from uh, her auntie and uncle's house, so I've kept it to one side, and it's my. I'm it's officially declaring strawberry um, saurine as my alternative bait. Right, Let's see that. how we get on. It's nice and sticky. Yeah, no worries. So that's that. So Bryce is using jalapenos. I'm using Biscoff and Matt is using Strawberry Saurine. So we'll give it a go. And once we've had a go, half an hour's fishing, I'll come back and let you know how we got on. Cheers, guys. 
to these boys who are coming into the last minute of the alternative bait challenge. I've just uh, packed up because I've already caught. So I've got one point. Matthew has caught two on his strawberry soaring. I was on the Biscoff. I caught one. Prize is still to catch on his jalapeno. But we're just in the last minute of it now. So we will see. And we're going to go for the first weigh-in of the day for the roach match. Ready, Dave? This is Dave's yeah. haul. Dave Hall is a, a muscle-bound lad. Lived, uh, no, no, it's, that's not what's giving him the muscles. One more. He's been, on the, uh, he's been on the float track, isn't it? So he's done well to get to... Double check that, Dave. Yeah, these few roach. All clear. So what's the weigh in on that? One pound four ounces. One pound four ounces, trotty. I'm happy with that. Yeah. One pound four. Are we let people have a look at the fish? Yeah. Let them go. Some nice roach in there. Lovely roach, lovely conditioned roach. That's oh. on, Dave. It's all right, that. Take that. Point. Can you remember what you got there? One pound four ounces. One pound four ounces. Just gather for a little bit. Come on, the old man. You've got a bad, uh, bad bag there, bro. Yeah? Yeah. It's all clear. A couple of bigger ones in there. Oh. £1.5 ounces it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's £1.5 ounces. Dumb me by an ounce. <laughs> At halfway point. At halfway point you've done me by you an ounce. You just double check it. Just come on else. Because it's so close, someone else just clarify it for me. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. Hello, of course I am, Dave. I'll put them back in. Right. <laughs> a little bit, a couple, little bit bigger. Not as many, but bigger look. Bigger a couple size big, of fish. Bigger size, yeah. Good nick, them. It's hard work trotting with it. You want me to buy yours, Matt? You're doing it. It's not mine, mate. I'll swap over, I'll go for waste loose. I'll let you pour your own fish. Through the life of one of the biggest names in the <laughs> That's why we're here, if you have a quick look. That's the winning alternative bait. Looking at that, that's the winning bag of the ropes. Match so far. Are we clear? Clear. Yeah, halfway point, right? Not that heavy. And as you can see, that's two pound one ounce. It's oh, no, two, two pound. They'll give it bang on three pound when say, they stop flapping. I'd say I'd say three on that, day. Yeah, three pound when they stop flapping. Well done, Matt. Thank you. Well Some well nice done, fish. Have a look. Quickly before I put them in. Mm. Nice bag of fish. Yeah. Right. We'll go for the second half then. Second half. It's always nice to weigh them off and rather than keeping them and keeping them for a while, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. That's a roach match all finished up. It was really tight in the end, only a couple of pound in it. Lots of fishing, lots of roach. It's really hard work on the stick float when the uh, river's so busy with the bank holiday to get a good weight. But we got there, so I got eight pound, but I got um, four pounds, four pound 12, Dave got three pound 10, 
so it was a close match um now we're off for chinese Raz is already up and then when we come back we'll get all this gear on for the night session and tonight's match is the biggest fish so we'll see who wins this this is dave's favorite competition so uh, i reckon he's gonna go for it see you later